Hello to all. Welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about reading data from REST API and then writing it into storage account, Azure storage account. Okay. So for this purpose, we have some sample REST API URLs. So let's, I've already browsed it. So yeah, sample REST API URL for testing. And in this case, we will test for the JSON. So if we go to one of the link, which is dummy rest API example.com, if we open it here, we have different methods available and the root that is the URL is given. So we'll open one of the URL employees root and will give us all employee data. So here is the URL. Okay. And it is having JSON data. So this is the REST API URL, which we are going to connect in the Azure data factory. So let's go to the data factory. Let's create a pipeline and name it as read REST. Okay. And we are going to read and write so that we can perform using copy activity. So we'll take the copy activity here in the canvas and in the second tab will go at the source data set and we'll click on new. Then the set data set here will be rest. So we'll type rest and we'll select rest. The name rest resource one. Okay. We'll leave it as is and the link service is not present for this rest API. So we'll create a new link service. Click on plus new rest service one. Let's say rest service for employees data. Description is not mandatory. Connect via integration runtime, auto resolve integration runtime, base URL. So here in the base URL, we have to go at the rest API URL, copy it and we have to paste here in the base URL. Then comes authentication type. So we'll select anonymous, select anonymous as it is just for demo purpose. Server certificate validation will let it be default as enabled. Rest of the settings as is and then test connection. So here we can see that the connection is successful. We'll create the link service. So the link service is created rest service employees. We we'll click OK. And once we click OK, the source data set will show us here. Request method we have selected as get because here it is the get method which will get us the employee data. So we'll go back. Rest of the settings, timeout, interval, etc. We'll leave it as is. Pagination rule by default it is RFC 5988. Okay, we'll leave all these settings as is. We'll go to the sync now and We'll create a new data set. So we'll connect it to the storage into account and we will land the file as JSON because we have the data as JSON here. We'll click on continue and the link service for this storage account is already there. We'll browse to the file path. Let's say test output folder. Click OK and again click OK. Okay. So this is done. Now we'll open this JSON sync data set and we'll give the name of the file here in the file path. Inside the test output folder, what would be the name of the file? So let this be rest to json.json. Okay. Rest to json.json because we are reading the data from the REST API and writing it into Azure storage account. Okay. We'll go back to the pipeline. We'll publish the changes. We'll validate the pipeline and then perform a debug run. So let's perform debug run. Copy activity is queued. In progress now. And succeeded. Okay. So now we'll go to the 
test output folder where we have created the file as rest to json so the test output folder is already opened here and here we could not see yet the file appears so we'll click on refresh so the here comes the rest to json file okay let's click on it edit so in the rest to json.json file we have got the result from the rest api we'll select the entire data control a control c and then we'll try to validate this json so let's validate json online so there's a link called jsonlint.com we'll paste the entire data that is the result and at the bottom we have a button called validate json which will give us the result so result is valid json we can confirm that the data is valid json okay so what we did is we took the data from the rest api this dummy rest api using the get method to get the employee data this data by creating a link service in azure data factory rest resource one and the other configuration then at the sync we loaded the data into into azure storage account i hope you've got the understanding of how we can connect to the rest api and fetch the data and then load it into our destination or sync thank you for watching the video happy learning bye